Hey guys, welcome back to Flux Core Friday. Well, I guess last week I lied to you because I said that we were going to build a project for your shop. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a cutting and grinding station out of this piece of drain grate. But I am behind on uh, some gate doors that I've got to get finished. And we had a subscriber specifically request that uh, I do this Flux Core Friday using the Best Arc 145 welding machine. So let me throw some um, uh, Flux Core wire in that machine and let's get these doors done. Stick around. So I've got the uh, door frame on my adjustable jack stand. So I've got it perfectly level this way and this way. Um, I've used these uh, uh, miter clamps to perfectly uh, square off each corner. And I've taken my, uh, my square and they are perfectly squared. I mean, couldn't get any straighter. And then I measured corner to corner with the tape measure. Everything's perfect. I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by tacking the inside corners of all of these. And I'm going to do that before I do anything else. And um, when you're tacking something like this to keep it from warping, uh, you want to you wanna think about where you're going to tack. Uh, I've got these clamps on here, so hopefully it's not going to move, but um, I always tack in the corners, on the inside corners, uh, and that keeps it from bowing or anything like that. And then I'm going to put in these uh, cross pieces, and I've talked to the carpenter on this job site, and he would like a piece at two feet and four feet going across. Uh, these doors are going to be covered with uh, planks of uh, recycled wood and they are going to be uh, screwed into this frame, that frame, that frame, and that frame with two screws uh, per board. Uh, so that's going to prevent any triangulation uh, movement. Um, so let me get uh, my gear on and I'm going to start on these inside corners. Okay, just a little tip. When, um, when you're marking for pieces that's gonna go across, where your measure on this side, uh, I pulled my tape from this corner back. When you go to the other side, make sure you measure from the same end. Don't measure from this end on this side and then that end from that side because it'll get a little wonky. Okay, so these are the uh, frames of the doors that I'm going to be making. If you remember from that other video that I made where I've, I've got the titanium and the outlaw doing work uh, together, uh, that was on these frames in this picture. They're four inch columns or posts coming up seven feet out of the ground. They're three feet into the ground. And then it's got, uh, and they're, they're four by four by quarter. And then the piece across the top is four by four by eight. And these are the doors that are going to go in between those frames. There's one for each side. And so that's what I'm making today. Okay, so we had one of our subscriber friends uh, specifically request uh, this week's Flux Core Friday be done with the Best Arc MiG 145. And uh, I want you to see I've got it set to gasless uh, MiG uh, 030 wire, and I'm on 2T. And uh, I've, I've done some testing on some scrap pieces of the same material. And despite what the uh, chart says, the chart inside the lid said 16, um, I think it says 16 volts and 50 inches per minute. 
um, that, that, what, that, that wasn't getting it. So um, I tested and tested and tested on the same material that I'm making these door frames with. And I've settled on 18 volts, 81 um, inches per minute. And you can see right here, I am plugged into 110 volts. So let's get busy. As I said a minute ago, I like to start by tacking inside each corner first. Okay, so I'm not fully welding these corners. I'm just tacking them together. And uh, let me go down here to this other end. So the sun is shining in my shop pretty good. So I hope you can see this. But again, all I'm doing is tacking these inside corners. Flux core takes a um, takes a little bit longer to make a tack with flux core than it does with regular MIG. Okay, so I want to share a couple of tips with you. Um, this is a piece of the square tube that I cut off to miter the corners. And do you see this dark line right here? On the other side of that, that's where it's welded at the factory uh, when they make this square tube. Now, I know that this is going to be covered up with wood, so you're not going to see it. But when it's going to be exposed and if it's going to be painted, Make sure to try to put this, uh, I call it the seam, uh, to the inside where it's not going to be seen. Um, also, I know that the carpenter who's going to cover this wood is going to be shooting screws through this. I don't want him to have to deal with hitting this seam because it's going to make his screw go all sideways. So... Um, I'm being real careful about where I put the seam so that one, it's not shown when it's, it doesn't show when it's painted and two, it doesn't mess up the carpenter. Also, so I'm going to have a piece going across here. What I like to do is take, this is just some, some three eighths or maybe it's quarter, um, just little pieces and I like to clamp it to the bottom side of this post. That way, and I go ahead and I get it centered on my line. That way I can drop in this other piece that's gonna go across. I know it's gonna be flush, and then I flush it up sideways with this piece, and that way I know that it's gonna be centered. Okay, so now I've got this cross piece put in here. And I know it's flush because I've got that piece of uh, flat stock clamped to the bottom. And I did the same thing on that end. So I'm ready to weld this up. But uh, again, all I'm going to do is tack it. I'm only going to tack it. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack the inside right in the middle of this corner right here. And then I'm going to do the other side over there. Then I'll come back over here and do this one, and then I'll do that one. If you bounce around while you're, um, you know, tacking things up, you lessen the risk of anything shifting, moving, warping, twisting, you know, with the heat, anything like that. Okay, that one's done. Now I can unclamp these, get my little pieces off of there, 
and go over here and do the other one. Okay, so now I've got all my pieces assembled and tacked. Um, got top, bottom, the sides, and the middle. And uh, so now I can go ahead and take off all these clamps. And uh, I can start making this thing look a lot better. So I don't want to bore you with all the details of showing you every single joint. You don't need to see all that. But I do want to go ahead and um, do this pass right here, and then uh, I'll blend it out and show you what it's going to look like. I turned my, my voltage down, but I may have uh, gone down a little bit too low. Uh, I was having a hard time keeping it lit. But, uh, all right, so let me clean this up, show you what it's going to look like. Okay, so that's what we've got after we uh, wire wheel it. And then uh, I used a 60 grit um, flap disc, uh, you know, polished it down and everything. Uh, it's still pretty hot. It wasn't really my intention to teach you how to build a door. Um, my intention was to show you how to square things up, uh, show you the tips about the little pieces that I put under here, um, dancing around with your spot welding. Um, you know, you, you may never build a door, um, or you might. Uh, you might build one going into your backyard or whatever, but what else does this look like? Looks like a little trailer. The same techniques that I'm trying to show you on this video um, can be used to make uh, a really nice four by six utility trailer. Um, you know, getting things squared up in each corner, measuring from this corner to that corner, then this corner to that corner, uh, throwing a, um, um, a triangle on each, or a square um, on each corner um uh you know things like that and then dancing around uh when you're doing these uh tack wells uh you know don't don't just throw a piece on there and then totally weld out that corner and then go over here and totally weld out that corner man your your stuff is going to be so misshapen uh you know, I, I always personally, I always start in the corners, on the inside corners. Once those are done, I might do this top and then this top. And I might do that top and this top. And then I'll flip it over and I'll do opposites. And then I'll flip it over again and do the, op the you know, opposite corners. The very last thing I'm going to do is these outside four corners. And uh, once that's all done, everything's still going to be square. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, I know it's not very exciting, but it is using flux core um, with the uh, best arc MIG 145. And um, if I wasn't behind on this, uh, I would, I would, uh, make the video a little bit better, but it's Thursday evening. Uh, it's almost, almost eight o'clock. It's between 7.30 and eight o'clock and I'm still working. And uh, now I've got to go um, home and I've got to edit this video and get it uploaded to YouTube. And that's gonna take four hours uh, just so I can have it um, on your screen for Flux Core Friday. But if you got anything out of this, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, leave some comments. Uh, you know I always answer every single comment. And uh, y'all have a great weekend.